So can you tell us when and why did you start to play together? We started in 2006 and the occasion was a concert in, in um, Spain. They invited us. We were already friends at the time but never played together. And uh, we, they invited us in a festival to play Mozart concerto for two pianos, uh, K365. And uh, it was very interesting and very nice to play together. And from that time we started to learn some music and to play some concert also for bands. After that, uh, it was very interesting and uh, ni very nice to travel together. And because playing solo and traveling solo is always on and on, uh, it's, it's, it's really heavy. Mm -hmm. And we started and from that point, and, uh, and since then we played many many concerts. <laughs> I don't know, one thousand or so. <laughs> Is there any repertoire that you prefer to play together? Or four hands or two pianos? Yeah, no, four hands is a little bit complicated because you need to share with one piano and you have enough space to move. But uh, it's okay, we, uh, we play since 15 years together and we can move together in one piano. Sometimes with some difficulty, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's okay. And we are a lot of repertoire for 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 hands. The two piano, um, mostly with the orchestra, two piano and orchestra. Yeah, because you know, in the festival, sometimes the small festival, uh, it's difficult to find two pianos. So they prefer to rent one piano. So and so we, we have a, we prefer to to build a new repertoire with the four hands. Four hands. We played a lot of Mozart and both two pianos. It was the beginning <laughs> in Spain. And after it we are now recording the complete Mozart pieces for four hands. And uh, you, you come second time in summer? Yeah? Second times, but many, many years ago it was, I don't know, maybe 10 or more. Uh, Not yeah. 10, but yeah, nearly 10. Nearly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think in this like, small uh, festivals in small cities? Do, do, you, do you find it uh, more uh, convenient for you or, or do you prefer the big. Uh, I, like, I like them very much. Such kind of situation because, yes, of course, theater is um, nice to play in big, big halls, okay, but uh, we, with so short space between the, 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 the players and, and, and the audience, uh, I always like like it, this kind of situation. And, uh, and so we play pretty often in, in, in small places. And yes. Yes. Do you, what are the plans for you go now to play? I will play in Italy several concerts, and I one concert in Vienna also. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year I will do two or three concerts more in Italy. And next year we should play in, uh, also in Italy. Italy? Czech Republic, uh, Germany, and France. Yes, I'm in Hamburg. Let's be in again. Yeah, of course. Mm. Asia and America now is good. Yeah, that's so a problem. Cannot, cannot so that we were used to, 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 to play 40, 50 concerts per year, mm. and after COVID, of course, it's, it's slow, <laughs> less. <laughs> but uh, step by step, we hope yeah. we can start again everything. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Eto, recite nam nešto o programu, što baš ovaj program, mislim, meni je bio divan, ali što baš ovaj, i otkud vi, zajedno? Dame imaju prednost. 
pa znamo se već godina u nazad i želili smo da ostvarimo saradnju. Naravno, Simon je veoma zauzet čovjek i umetnik, pa smo nekako sada se sve poklopilo i želili smo da baš u Somboru nabavimo celu ovu priču, pošto znamo da Sombor ima, naravno, možda i jesmo Somborke, ali Sombor ima jednu kulturu i želili smo da jedno ovako ime zaista dođe na Somus koji je zaista veoma bitan, tako da napravili smo ovu ovu priču. A program? Pa, ja sam se samo uklopio i prilagodio željama, recimo. Dobro, mislim da ovaj... Neće ti to tako proći, pošto znam da sviraš ovu sonatu sa Vengerovim uskoro. To je bilo slučajno. To je bilo slučajno. Da, apsolutno. To je Simonida predložila, a meni se činilo jako interesantno, pošto nikad nisam svirao ovu sonatu sa flautom, sa flautom i baš je zanimljivo to, zbog balansa, zbog disanja i sve to, tako da, kao što je rekla Jana, onda smo naravno koordinirali želje ili ideje kakav da bude koncept i drago mi je da je Jana predložila je jedan jako zanimljiv ciklus Francisca Polanka koji čini mi se ne izvodi se tako često. Baš to i jeste bio razlog i da. Da, i meni je prvi put da izvodim ovaj ciklus i mislim da smo oboje naučili od tog ciklusa baš puno zato što govori o slobodi govora, slobodi izražaja, francuske poezije, naravno, zajedno sa muzikom, mislim, stil koji je zahtevao i držao Poulenc sa svojom prijateljicom, koleginicom Louise Vidmohan. Tako da, to se stvarno super poklopilo zajedno sa Frankom i onda ja sam mislio da možda onaj utice i francuske Chopinu, recimo, možda ne čak u ovim mazurkama, ali generalno kao stil, kao izražaj, mislim da bi se poklopio dobro. Naravno da sve to bude i izdržano i da bude u sklopu ideje, koncepta i festivala, naravno, u vezi dužine koncerta, tako da... Ja lično mogu da kažem da mi je stvarno jako drago, posle toliko godina kad smo se upoznali na moj koncert u Stavangeru, gde su se usvršavali i Simonide i Jana, da je ovo ono što se dažem na prvi put u Somboru i da svrađujem se s njima, stvarno mi je bio, kako se to, užitak, kako se kaže, stvarno zadovoljstvo i da imam mogućnost da vidim i publiku ovde koja dolazi kao što sam rekao, koja podržava i voli iskreno od srca umetnosti i muziku i svaka čast i organizatorima Somosa, kao što je i rekla Jana. I hvala, hvala što ste nas pozvali. Da, jedan od najvažnijih festivala, ne samo najstariji, klasični muzički, je li tako, festival u Srbiji, nego jedan od najvažnijih. Postoje sve više. Da, u Srbiji, verovatno i u ovom regionu. Tako da, evo, imao sam mogućnost da stvarno ja uživu. I stvarno smo želeli nešto novo da predstavljamo. Hvala vam, zato što baš koncert je tačno odražavamo ono što smo shoćene. Red Sombora, red poznatih svetskih faca, da kažemo, sa nekim programom koji ne možemo baš da čujemo u nekom drugom gradu, tako da puno hvala. U redu su arije, sve to divno, ali... Ne, ne, ovo je mnogo bolje. Hvala vam.